Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about and showing you actually how you can make a seamless pattern for yourself. And there's two ways I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how you can make a seamless pattern using clip art that you've created or that you've purchased, as well as how you can make seamless patterns in Mid Journey. So let's just jump on out to my computer and let's get started. So right now we're in Photoshop. And we already know that we want the pattern to be a 12 inch by 12 inch 300 DPI. We know this, okay? So we're gonna design in that size, which is a 3600 pixel by 3600 pixel. So what you're gonna wanna do is this. You have, we're going with the clip art first. You're gonna go ahead and open a new file. You're gonna make it 3600 by 3600 pixels. You're gonna make sure it's 300 DPI. I always start with a transparent background, but you don't have to on this, okay? It's up to you. But I'm starting with a transparent background and then I'm gonna press create. So here we go. We have our transparent background. Now what I'm gonna do is click the background and I want this color right here. And I, you see it when, uh, as my foreground color. So I am going to make the background a color, all right? So now it is the color that I want. So this is the pattern. I'm gonna come up with some baby, baby uh, fall type of, <laughs> of design here just for uh, this tutorial. And this tutorial is, is brought to you by actually, by one of my subscribers who wanted to learn how to do this. So I'm about to show you right now. So I like these little cute babies. So we're gonna go with some babies, right? Some baby fall type of look, okay? And I don't know, I love the bunny, okay? So we have our three fall babies. And then I created, now these come from my packs, guys, off of the Design Diva. I'll put a link below if this is some clip art that you wanna have. And I created some embroidered, butterflies can you believe it so i like that one look at how it looks embroidered so look i'm dropping some butterflies in here that i made some fall inspired ones i'm gonna drop some of those in there i guess i can do i did that one i guess i can do this one did i do that one nope i didn't do that one Hmm. Okay, nope, we're gonna do this one. Okay, all right. So now I have my butterflies in here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn off some of these layers so I can get to designing. All right, so I have my little baby here. So I'm gonna blow my baby up just a little bit. So you just lay out your design the way you like it. Now I'm gonna start with the butterflies. And then of course, uh-oh. Gotta be careful with that transform tool because it would do some things to you. All right, so let me, let me move that there. And I'm gonna make the butterfly right there. Let's turn on another butterfly. And then I'm, I want to shrink that too. Turn it that way. Kind of put some butterflies in the, in the mix, right? And then we're gonna shrink. We're gonna shrink this butterfly. We're gonna shrink it a little smaller than the others. Okay, so we wanna do this and kind of get it over here. So I'm gonna do this a few times, trying to get the design just the way we want it to be, right? Butterfly, and then we're gonna do it like that. You hear the babies? I wonder if you hear my babies barking. Okay, um, I'm gonna get us another butterfly I'm gonna do that there so you can place as many butterflies as you like or where whatever your design entails right so I'm just kind of doing this here so you can see when you place them around the the baby okay and and then we're gonna do this here let me move this butterfly here and then we're gonna also Make another butterfly here, there we go. And let's take this butterfly and then we're gonna do this butterfly here. 
and then okay so now we have our butterflies circling around the baby all right so let's do that and then we're gonna grab this one over here we're gonna have another bigger butterfly let's see okay and there we have it let's do uh we can put this one up here a little bit we're gonna put this one over here flying that way and then we're gonna do this one and then okay so we're getting it together so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna bring this one down and turn it the other way let's turn it the let's flip it okay so now we have our butterflies laid out and this is going to be the start of our pattern okay so i think i want to add one more butterfly down here and we're going to shrink this because we're going to see how it's going to look let me just turn this in like the butterfly is going up okay so there we have it so now what we're going to do is we're gonna move these fall babies that we did not open. I moved them out of the way and put them at the top. So now all the designs that we have the eye on, that is turned on, we're going to merge those designs. So we're gonna merge layer, okay? Now, as you can see, this layer has become merged as one image. So now we're gonna put an offset filter on there. So I'm gonna go to filter, other, offset now what happens is that you want your offset to be half horizontal of the 3600 so half of 3600 is 1800 so the horizontal needs to be plus 1800 the vertical needs to be plus 1800 so it splits the image into four pieces and that's why you see the four corners you see it around so we're going to click oh and we want it to say wrap around and you're going to click okay now you see we have some spaces here and these is where our other fall babies come into place, okay? So now I'm gonna fill in some gaps with the other fall babies. Okay, so we're gonna do that there. Now I'm gonna turn on my little rabbit because I love the rabbit. Again, guys, you can get this set down. I'm gonna put this fall baby right here. You can get this set right from the Design Diva. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna duplicate this baby. And then I will, oh, oh, undo. And I want to turn this baby. And turn this baby up there. Okay. All right, so we got our little bear right there. Then I probably wanna make him smaller. Another smaller baby. And put him right here in the middle more so down at the bottom so we're filling up the space with the fall babies and then I think I might put another one right here actually let's go for another butterfly which one can I put there I'll drop this butterfly and then I will shrink him I'm deleting them because I really want a baby So let's go back and get us another fall baby and fall baby and we would do this little squirrel okay so we're gonna get a little squirrel I'm gonna put the little squirrel in here and squeeze him right there and put him right there and then we'll also put him down here okay so now we have our little pattern going on right actually I can do one more butterfly because I want to fill this area here right so let me grab in the fall embroidered butterfly and I 
I got all three of them right there. So I think a little, let me go with this one. Okay, cause that got a little different color in it. And I'll go here with this one, a little itty bitty one. Okay, so we're gonna, okay, so we gotta sprinkle him somewhere, right? We need to sprinkle this one around and make them smaller. Okay, so here we go. So now we're gonna highlight all of our graphics and we're gonna merge the layers again. Wonderful, let me do that. Merge, I'm gonna make sure all of them are merged. So now we have our pattern, okay? So now what we're gonna do is gonna go to File and we're gonna go to Export, Export As. And we wanna export as a JPEG at 3600 by 3600. We already know it's in 300 DPI. You can check by going to image, image size, and it's already in a 12 inch by 12 inch at 300 DPI. So we're good with this, we're good with that. So now we're gonna go export as a JPEG, 3600 by 3600, and we're gonna export. And now we're gonna go into our pictures, and then we're gonna do, we're gonna do fall babies one okay so now here's how we check to make sure our pattern is seamless so we're going to go to the browser so let me open up the browser and i go to seamless pattern checker so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up the fall babies one image and we're going to open ah look at our pattern it is seamless so it let it allows you to blow it up to make it smaller so you can make sure that there are no lines in your pattern. So that is one way you can create your own seamless pattern using Adobe Photoshop and clip art that you've created or purchased. Now let's go to the second way you can make a seamless pattern and that is by using Midjourney. I've jumped over into my mid journey and what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a seamless pattern and here's the prompt to do that, okay? So what you wanna do is start typing in your imagine prompt. So you can say fall watercolor animals um, with butterflies, uh, with butterflies, we wanna do clip art, no, no, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. We want to do with butterflies, vibrant. No, we did watercolor. So I'm trying to think of something off the cusp here. Okay. So <laughs> fall watercolor animals with butterflies, sun shining. And we're going to do a version 5.2. And how you make it seamless is you do a parameter of tile. Okay, so, and then we're gonna see what it comes up with. Okay, so these are the images it came back with for us, right? So we have one, two, three, four images to work with. So I like two, all right? So I'm gonna upscale number two and we can upscale number three as well. All right, so now what I do is I pick out the ones and I upscale the ones I like, okay? I open it up. I do not save it right here. Some people save it right here. Do not do that. Open it in the browser. Now I'm going to save it as uh, test one. And then I'm going to save this one. Open it in browser. Test two. Okay, so now those colors are, I mean those colors, those uh, patterns are saved. Now what I do before I turn them into 300 DPI at a 12 by 12 inch, I want to check them right now because I don't want to waste my time in putting them in the Photoshop and, and transforming it to be a 12 by 12 at 300 DPI and it's not seamless. 
So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to our pattern checker. Now, you can upload more than once. So we're gonna, we're gonna grab them both. Ooh, you see, it's seamless. You can make seamless patterns right inside of Midjourney if you use the parameter tile at the end. And then we can go over here and check this one. Make sure it's seamless. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, wonderful. That's cute. Now you do understand that Midjourney never repeats the same patterns twice. So if these are patterns that you want, leave me a comment below. I can definitely blow it up into a 300 uh, DPI 12 by 12 for you and, and just give it to you. Just let me know if, if you want one of these. Remember it's test one and test two. So this one, I don't remember which one is which one, but we're about to find out right now. Let me, I see, upload. So test one is this color one, this colorful one. So this is test one and this is test two. If you like these, let me know. I can give them to you, all right? Because it's not gonna make it again. <laughs> That's the great thing about it. You can probably make something similar, but it won't be this exact one. So if you want this exact one or any one of these, let me know. If you want to make like a design like I just made inside of Photoshop, those are my clip art pieces. You can always go and get those from the Design Diva. I'ma leave a link below in the description. So if this is something you like, guys, I do tutorials because I make designs all the time. So feel free to subscribe to my channel. You know, it helps your girl out. Also, there's going to be some transitioning because I'm doing other things. So I feel like Etsy sellers um, don't need to leave money on the table. There's other avenues and other streams of income, which I'm going to be talking about coming up on this channel. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. So that way you can stay updated on the things that I am doing to create more streams of income, even though I have an Etsy shop. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.